Today we'll take a look at ASQ SC second edition, AGs and stages, questionnaires, social emotional second edition. This tool is available in three languages, English, Spanish, and French. First, let's watch a short introduction video from the publisher, then we'll talk more about this instrument. Social emotional development is important for young children because it's really a key to success in school, in social environments, in environments both at home and away from home. It's really kind of the best predictor that we have of academic success also. Early identification really is the key to optimal development. So if we want children to develop at their utmost capacity, we need to find problems early. The Ages and Stages Social Emotional is a series of nine questionnaires now that parents would complete at about six month intervals. It's a series of questions. It varies by the age of the child and the questions are all targeted at that child's developmental level. The parent has three options, whether the child's kind of always doing the behavior, sometimes or rarely or never. And some behaviors are positive that you want the child to be doing, such as having mealtimes be happy, playing with other friends, or there might be negative behaviors, such as having difficulty with transitions or having tantrums that last you know, a long time. By looking at these social emotional skills, by really keying in to how the child is interacting with their environment, then we can catch um, delays or problems or even challenges for families early on and do something about it. Brooks Publishing is really committed to developing content that helps people meet their full potential. And obviously, a product like ASQ really fits right in with that mission. The reason that parents really like ASQ is because it, it's not scary. It asks normal things about what children do, and it asks it in a warm, positive way. We're really excited about the changes in ASQ SE2. We looked at a new sample. So we, we um, collected about 16,000 questionnaires, looking across the ages from um, one month all the way up now, the, the upper age range is now 72 months. So we can look all the way up to six years. And we've updated the cutoff scores and the new monitoring zone so that hopefully these will be very accurate and um, effective as a screening system. Our goal is to make something that you don't have to be a professional to administer. We really want to make it user-friendly. I would say it's exciting to be able to revise it. It's exciting to have our colleagues at Brooks who are willing to kind of work with us and improve the layout and improve how families can use it. I don't think there's anyone who works at Brooks Publishing who doesn't feel great that we're the publisher of ASQ. To really feel like you're working on something that will change people's lives is amazing. I'm so grateful that I've had the opportunity to work on this project that really has helped people around the world. It's a truly an honor to be involved in this. So this tool is for children's age from one month to 72 month old. It has nine age-appropriate questionnaire for use at 2 months, 6 months, 12 months, 18 months, 24, 30, 36, 48, and 60 months of age. Each form includes about 30 items and this tool is designed to screen children's social emotional development, uh, specifically in self-regulation, compliance, social communication, adaptive functioning, autonomy, affect, and interaction with people. It just takes 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Usually parents or caregiver fill out the form and teacher or early educator score the form. So first, to use a form, you have to calculate your student's chronological age. We all know how to do this. You are going to subtract the birthday uh, from the assessment date today, the day you assess the student. So once you calculate the student's age, you can pick the right form. You're not going to drop or around the days. Um, so you see there are nine different forms. Once you calculate the student's age, you can pick the right form. So for our practice, we are going to use 48 month form. Uh, you can use this 48 month form once you calculate your student's age and your student age fall in the 48 month 
form range, then you can use it, right? Um, now we are going to use one imaginary child who is 48 months old. We don't know the child. Uh, the child is just imaginary child, right? Take a look at the form uh, and you are going to fill out the form hypothetically. Um, the purpose is um, to take a look at the form, what kind of uh, testing items are available. That's my purpose. So just take a look at the form, read the question, and then just fill out the form hypothetically. Once you get your hypothetical final score, you can compare your hypothetical final score with cutoff. So it's going to be our practice, okay? So this is the first page of 48 month form. As you can see, this form is for children's age from 42 months to 53 months and 30 days. First page, you can fill out the student's information and your information. So this is second page of the form. So uh, like I told you, um, parents usually fill out this form and teacher score. But if you know your student really well, you can fill out the form and you score. Um, so the one thing um, you have to remember for this specific tool is that ASQ has always same um, scoring system. So often, uh, always, always 10 points, right? Sometimes five points, uh, like uh, rare or never, is zero points. But this tool has different scoring system. It's not always 10, 5, 0. So if you see the first item, does your child look at uh, you when you talk to him? And then uh, the next box says Z, V, X, and V, right? So if you go to last page, It tells you what that means. Z means zero point, V means five points, X means 10 points, and concern is five points. So you have to score your uh, form, each item, in a different way. And then you get the finer score, and you can compare your finer score with cutoff score. That's how we use this form. Now, uh, to prove you complete the practice with me, um, you can upload your last page of uh, recording form, completed recording form, last page only to Blackboard. As you can see in my example, you can just fill out the form hypothetically and uh, you can upload the last page. You can print out and hand mark or you can just uh, right over the PDF if you have that uh, function.